r slash ask reddit by reddit and chill. People who have gone on the deep dark web. What is it really like? What was something unexpected you uncovered there? It's not the way everyone makes it out to be. There's a lot of porn and a lot of drugs. Eater. I did also come across a site selling military grade weapons. That was super interesting. Second Eater. Lot of comments saying this is exactly what they thought was on the dark web. I meant the way it's portrayed in shows and stuff as being a super dangerous place where there are hitmen and red rooms. Those things probably do exist. But you'd have to dig quite deep. Porn. Drugs and weapons are very easily found. How do you get to this dark web? I was surprised that they had cocaine with free shipping. That's very cash money of them. Hey my shipment from the Amazon is here. The Amazon? Don't you mean just Amazon? Oh. Oh yeah. It wasn't actually really scary I mean it was just drugs and stuff for sale. No rocket launcher. No tank. No time machine. Drugs. Good quality. Clean. Competitively priced drugs. How is the quality safety guaranteed though? I gave the dark web a try out of curiosity in the early 2000s. There wasn't much there at that time. Bitcoin wasn't a thing yet so it was more people posting about fringe interests. The one that stuck with me was the community advising and advocating romantic and sexual relationships with dolphins. I didn't go back. Those people are just on Tumblr now. It's like surfing the internet in the 90s. Super slow. Little to no graphic design. And pages a mile long full of dead links. That's all fine. As long as I can find some goldenrod text on teal background. I miss the 90s. A lot of dead links. Sometimes you'll stumble upon something interesting but it's mostly bullshit. Yo. I recognize your username. It was a disappointment after the hyped up scary dangerous exciting things I heard about it. It was just meh. I can't share any cool insights. Maybe I looked in the boring section colon. We haven't looked in the restricted section. The YouTube comments are actually friendly on the dark web. So there's YouTube on the dark web. Dark YouTube. I bought acid from the Netherlands on the deep web. Good stuff. Came fast. Cheap. 5 stroke 5 stars also rating is super important on the deep web it's really weird to see people selling drugs and saying like please remember to leave a review and stuff but besides the drug sales found a good few adverts for hitmen. Intrusion artist CTC. Some even posted links to news articles about their supposed crimes. Weirdly cheap prices for human life too. For anyone wondering it was about £40,000 for a hitman. I've heard that most of those hitmen are frauds just trying to scam people. There are some detailed maps of the steam tunnels of Virginia Tech compiled by some non-sanctioned explorers. They had a disclaimer to not visit the tunnels because you might get steamed to death. And if the steam doesn't get you, the campus police will. The Wayback Machine has a good few snapshots of a very informative Angelfire website about those tunnels, and the tunnels underneath the town for Strubbles Creek. That was up on the surface web up until a few years ago. I can't remember what it's called specifically. But you should be able to find it on there by looking up something like Steam Tunnels Virginia Tech and Gelfire. By the way. Strubbles Creek goes underground up near the fire station and the tunnel is large enough to walk in all the way down to the steps great near tots. I used it to buy meth. Heroin. And Hulu subscriptions. Ah yes. The holy trinity of drugs. Most of it is nothing special. Dead links. Old. Shitty HTML sites. Or lots of drugs. The interesting things I found. Some group of supposed hackers fighting against child porn. I don't know what exactly they do. Cause most of their forum is members only. Deep web chat roulette. Cults. Like. I found at least 10 cults website on there. Very. Very specific porn sites. One was only lesbians who are smoking weed for example. And they had a surprisingly large collection. Second page of Google gets pretty sketchy tbh. It's all inane robber text and ads. The web ain't what it used to be. In high school I did a research paper about bitcoin. 
This was in the days of sub $1k prices. Naturally I used the school Wi-Fi to download Tor browser and hit some onion links. Lots of dead links and lots of sketchy marketplaces. I read a listing for fake passports. It seemed totally unconvincing. But then again. Why should the passport vendor care? If I'm buying fake IDs from the dark net. It means I have no better options. And it's not like I'd be able to get a refund. Now would I? Also saw some crack for sale. It was pretty cheap, I think. TLDR low effort contraband for sale. Actually you do get refunds pretty easily when something doesn't arrive or it's not as advertised. As long as you don't finalize the order early. Also. Vendors can be pretty nice even if you already finalized. They want good reviews. It's almost entirely dead links. Porn. Drugs. And books papers that are banned in a lot of countries. Despite what it sounds like. I recommend giving it a peek. Especially the library of Tranta. A massive collection of books you can read for free. I suggest you check out I have no mouth and I must scream if you visit. Good read. Uh. Heavy read. But it's out there on the regular old www. Sigh. I found things on 4chan and reddit worse than I ever found on the deep web or other place. But the thing is that unless you know what you are looking for, it is very hard to navigate the dark web. Also all of the horror story stuff you might hear about is not free entry. All the stories are pure BS. Because there are also hundreds of similar sites that will just scam you. If you find something disturbing you were looking for it, paid for it, and already heard where and how to find it, making you a sick duck, not someone who just happened to find a snuff liver stream. Go listen to the Time Suck episode by Dan Cummins. He does a pretty good job explaining what it is and how you slash people can do use it. It's really hard to get anywhere. Since you can't search it and most of the links are dead. And the stuff is pretty tame lame. You can search it. Look up Ahima. Haystack. Not evil AMD Onion City. I went to grab some calculus books. Found some out of print 1970s books on microcomputers and logic circuits I was scanned in. Built a SAP 1, 2, and 3 breadboard computer and got hooked on r slash Benita. Watch some ordinary game as he browses the dark web and posts videos about it. Overall it's kinda underwhelming. Reddit seems to fetishize the dark net as some scary place coming right out of a creeper pasta. When in reality, like most things in life, it's pretty underwhelming and mundane. There's just some drug markets, some ducked up porn, and a lot of scams for sketchy shit. I see this question posted fairly regularly and the answers seem to come straight from r slash nolab rather than being actual answers from people who've browsed the dark net. I feel like it would be difficult to stumble upon something you weren't looking for on the deep web. It's hard enough finding the things you do want on there. Verifying the links. Filling in captures and remembering passwords to the old and new sites. If you accidentally find something on the dark web. You must have been looking for it to some degree. I tried it about 6 years ago when the big crackdown was happening. So literally every somewhat famous deep web site was shut down. I found literally nothing and haven't been back. A lot of hacked porno passwords. I love the deep web. Haven't paid for premium porn in years. Same. But I don't really use it. Plus I'm so used to using private mode so all my porn history won't show up. And I'm just extremely lazy. Like. I actually still prefer the regular free stuff. Plus. It's not like premium give you the magical ability to increase video quality. I don't really have that much to use for it. Comma I've discovered a website that sells snuff porn for about $50 in bitcoins. But this website is offline nowadays. Comma paid incest porn. The website says it has more than 10 GB of it. Comma paid child pornography. More than 50 GB according to its description. Comma there's a free porn streaming website with underage stuff. But they claim that is all cool because those kids are consenting. Bullshit but k. Comma there's a torrent library with many pdf books. In many languages. I could find and download many books in Portuguese. My primary language. That I couldn't afford or couldn't find anywhere. Comma drugs. Many drugs. 
I mean. There are a shit ton of bizarre drugs. Comma audio. Video. Documents. Lots of leaks. Most of them are police dashcams. Military training. Etc. Nothing shocking. Just curious. There's not much to do there unless you're really looking rare or illegal stuff. You can find pretty much everything here on the surface if you try hard enough. Sometimes it's even harder to find stuff on the onion due to the lack of search engines with easy asses like Google, I know there are search engines there. Like Torch. But none of them are easy to access like typing google.com. Most onion websites that has weird. Hardcore and illegal porn eventually get shut down. But there's always one online that will make you regret being a curious person and clicking that link. Oh. And I've seen a lot of poorly made HTML designs. Like. Really? You're selling stuff using comics on? That sounds super ducked up. Remind me never to go on the dark web. Like. Comics on? Seriously? Disgusting. What is it really like? Nothing that the news. YouTube is trying to throw to you. Yes it is used for illegal stuff because of the anonymity it provides. Not because the criminal didn't fancy using Chrome. Definitely was expecting to find drugs. Accounts. Books. Guns. Scams. Stolen electronics. Laptops. Phones. What I wasn't expecting now. Was to find fully untouched DRM free games. Deep web is just stuff not indexed by search engines. I use it every day at work and it's super boring because it's just a bunch of legal opinions in a paid online database. Eater. Yes. I've found unexpected legal precedent before. People mix up deep web and dark web all the time and it drives me batty. Literally everyone has gone on the deep web. It just means websites that aren't indexed by search engines. Acker any with a login gate. If you've ever paid bills online. Accessed your insurance info. Applied for government benefits. Checked your bank balance. Etc. You've used the deep web. This should be higher. When people hear that 99% of the internet is the deep web they probably think that there is a 100 times larger content than the websites they can look up, full of drugs. Pitman and porn. The commercials on onion websites. I write ads as a part of my online gig. And some of the content I produce is watching ads and breaking them down. Ayo I get to this onion site and write on front of you. Six copies of the same banner having an anonymous dude with a black hoodie and a mask saying don't forget to mix your bitcoins. Sitting next to a laundry machine filled with bitcoins. What the hell is the conversion rate of these ads? Stuart and Roald. Dark web. Honestly. You have to really know what you're looking for to find anything. But yes. You can find everything from buying porn that's less than legal to people. A website that was nothing but giant spinning sky dildos. A website that shows random people's webcams. Some of them just surfing the internet. Some sleeping. It was scary. Some kid at my school used it to get Minecraft. When you're not looking for gross. Obvious. Illegal stuff and are just a normal person like me the majority of stuff you see that isn't dead links is forums plus chats that are full of people who are very nice to others but are tremendously self-loathing talking about effectively nothing as well as blogs that go on weird rants about cyber security that somehow always end turning into odd racist conspiracies about Jews. You'll also get the occasional hacking guide. Link list. Underground area maps and other stuff that is also on the normal internet. So when you're on a site that's entire purpose isn't to be illegal. It's basically Twitter when you are on it for too long. I found normal Reese's peanut butter cups on one of the black markets I frequented. Just normal. Ordinary peanut butter cups. Pretty sure the guy also sold jars of peanut butter too. Nice try FBI. Careful. You slash Nesetribut died 8 years ago over using this joke. Deep web is basically it's 99% of the internet. And we use it a lot in college. It's like phone book without search engine. You have to know the number and the name to find it. Contains shit duck ton of useful and important data. Dark web however is like Pornhub of Clonet. It's term to refer all the illegal sites. 
technically the board I visit daily to discuss with people belongs to that category as people also sell drugs there. But it's better than 4chan or 8kun. If someone is interested. Download Onion Browser, Tor, and Google Not Evil Onion search engine. It finds few thousand links. But I do not recommend trying. Safer way is to have a directory containing thousands of links from trusted friend. If you don't want to end up seeing something you'd regret. Let just say when I used to explore without knowing what is behind links. I had to throw up many times. And I have had nightmares and sleeping issues ever since. The world is sick. Cruel and disgusting place and deep web is mirrored to show what our rose colored glasses are blocking. I'm no expert. But I'm pretty sure red rooms are bullshit. There has never been a proven case as far as I'm aware. It's an urban legend. Ducking like and subscribe.